Okay, looks like boat number eight. We found this in Sayo. It's a 64 Dorset. We had been doing some research on boats and these Dorsets are popping up very highly sought after, especially in the northeastern part of the country where there's a lot of boating. We were following a collector and uh, so we started searching Dorsets. We found three. This one was in probably within 20 miles of the house and the kid inherited it from his grandfather who spent about three grand doing the interior years and years ago. It's an excellent condition. Everything is here. There isn't any pieces missing on the boat. It's completely original. Nothing's been cannibalized. It does look like it's possible a paint change, but we're not worried about that. We'll, we'll handle that. The engine's all there. It turns over but doesn't start, which is the same old story. The transom looks in excellent condition. There's no bolts going through it at all, which is a big plus. You have a better chance that the transom's good if there hasn't been anybody cannibalizing and drilling into it because technically there was never any bolts in these. They were never bolted in. They were clamped. So that's the, here's the emblem. These are becoming very really highly sought after, so we've decided to start focusing on door sets. Um, glass bars are hard to find. Glass trons are everywhere. But these door sets were... There's only a few companies that can actually build a good quality fiberglass boat. Everybody jumped in, tried it out, went out of business, and three or four of them made it. This was one. They made a lot of really nice stuff. This is a runabout. These were super popular in the 50s. Take your family out. These not, were not marketed as fishing boats, but a lot of guys got them cheap in the 70s and 80s, turned them into fishing boats, and then let them sit. This one's in really good shape. Can't find anything wrong with the interior or, or the wood. Right down here, soft spot. <coughs> and way softer than I would care for. So that may have to be addressed. Uh, of course, all the wiring's trash. We, we already know how to deal with that. It's got one of the really nice Morse engine controls. The trailer's in excellent shape. <coughs> So this makes number eight. All the pulley systems there working. Can't really find anything wrong with it other than maybe the points are probably bad. I suspect it probably can have this running this afternoon and in the water tomorrow, actually. Um, so boat number eight, 64 door set. And uh, we're gonna add this to the list of projects. Just a little walk around here where we are. There's the camper and 66 Chev, which that's gonna be in the spring. We got an engine and transmission work as well as camper work, so that's different. Here's the one we got from Redmond. This is the one we're probably gonna to need to put. This is gonna be Cindy's first full interior redo. This is the one I got the starter out of. This one should run. We're going to find out this week before I go back to work. Here's the Baron. Probably paid a little more than we wanted for, but it did start and run super excellent. This is a V6 OMC inboard outboard. This boat's in excellent shape. Just dirty, but it's an excellent shape. Looks like everything in it works. Uh, I did turn the key on. Everything powers up. This guy started it. And the inboard outboard system works. It sounds great. The engine is about a year old. It had some Significant engine work done. The floor is solid. I think this is a little 62. This is one of my favorites right here. This one runs, right? This one's ready to go in the water. Uh, we did tear the interior out of it. It has permanent fiberglass uh, benches in it. This is gonna be an easy one to do. This will clean up really good. Everything's in this boat. This was another one that caught my attention. It even has the rear view mirror. And when they're complete like this, uh, it really gets my attention. Especially when the hardware, all the hardware is here. Hard to find. Then here's the big boat with the hard top on it. That's a long-term project. That's going to be probably late summer. Uh, 
we learned how to do some some spar work and and uh, transom work so that boat may get a lot more of that done to it and then in the back is the ski boat which we was our first one we spent probably over a hundred hours it's about 95 percent completed it's not a full re restoration by any it's not a restoration job it's a turnkey ready to go have a nice day fun weekend boat that's how we'll market this um you guys have seen this one around quite a bit in in our posts we decided we found some pictures of the original interior we're going to go ahead and try to bring that interior back to original before we sell this one probably going to end up selling this boat but we've been doing some research and cannot find a super g ski boat this may be extremely rare so we're doing some research on aluminum fiberglass shell uh, aluminum bottom fiberglass top super super fast boat we had this out we got the engine running good and it scared both of us and it's fast there's about another 30 or 40 hours of work here on that one but it was our first one so cosmetically I haven't spent much time with them other than getting all these turnkeys so even has all even has the rearview mirror in it so anyway a little update